last month, a doctor at the University of Kansas Health System returned from a deployment overseas as part of the Kansas National Guard. This morning, I'm sitting down with him. He explains what led him to not just help save lives, but also protect them at the age of 61. It's this week's Morning Joe. We were headquartered out of Kuwait right here, and this distance here is about a thousand miles. Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Lee Norman just got back to KC after nine months serving with the Army Medical Corps. I'm getting restless already. It's, it's, I'm not meant to not work. As you can see, he's quite the go-getter. Decades of medical practice under his belt, and he decided to take one more giant leap, moving his passion for medicine to the Middle East. Most of the people were very welcoming to us. Overseeing health services, troop movement, and equipment for 12,000 Army soldiers in the Arabian Peninsula. To be in basic training with uh, guys that are half your age or younger than that, what kind of feeling is that? That was uh, not easy. I went to basic Army basic training when I was 62, so there were uh, people I trained with that were younger than my youngest child. <laughs> but it wasn't his first time overseas. He was in the Air Force back in 1974 during the Vietnam War. A lot of things scare me, uh, but not so much that I don't sleep well at night. Mm -hmm. um, the, one of the things that I think is so reassuring and our people in our country can be reassured about is that the hallmark of our military troops is competence. Seeing it this time around through more experienced eyes, a perspective change, proves lessons can be learned no matter your age. The things that you so much take for granted in a civilized community, they're not there. You know, you're, you're out in the middle of the desert and you have to, and water purification isn't even something that's instantly available. Dr. Norman is regarded at KU as one of the brightest doctors. He's worked there for 12 years. He says Kansas City and KU are home, and that's where he plans to stay. Every time I turn around, I look and say, thank God I'm back home again, because it's, it's such a great city. What an amazing guy. Right? Yeah, can you believe that? He has done so much in his life, and he said he has no plans to stop. And a huge thanks to him for his service. He isn't still uh, operating at KU, but he is on the faculty there. He does plan to continue teaching, and he said he's not rolling out another deployment. So uh, wow. we'll see if he heads back. Incredible.